Welcome back and thanks for joining me today. Today we are going to learn about the rain stick. The rain stick is a percussion instrument. Now before I show you what a rain stick is, let's just review what percussion means. Percussion is something that you shake, rattle, hit, or bang. So it's nothing that you blow into. It's just something that you shake or rattle or bang. And in this case, I turn the, the rain stick over and that's what makes it make that noise. So the rain stick, so you can, you can already hear it. It sounds pretty fun. Um, a little bit about the rain stick. Um, the rain stick was believed to have been invented by the Mapuches and it was believed that it could bring about rainstorms. Why would we want a rainstorm? Well, if they had a drought, which means that they've had no rain for a very, very, very long time, um, they would need the, the rain for the water. Why would they need the water to plant their crops, to drink themselves, for their animals to drink? We need that to survive. So if they didn't have any rain, they wanted to try to encourage the rain to come. So they built the rain stick for that reason. Um, as you can see, this one's very decorative. They're not all like this. Some of them look a little different. Some of them look plainer. Some of them look a lot more decorative than mine. Um, all right, where can you find these? You can find these in Chile, Argentina, and nowadays in modern times, you can actually find them in Patagonia, which is really cool that they still make these. Um, all right, so obviously you can tell that the rain stick is a very long instrument and it's actually one giant long hollow tube. What does hollow mean? Hollow means that there's nothing inside of this thing. I can look through, if I were to take everything apart, I can look through it like a telescope because it's, it's hollow, there's nothing in there. Um, it has to be hollow because inside of this are beads and seeds and little pebbles and all these little things to, to go up and down. So it can't be, it has to be hollow. It can't have anything else in it because otherwise it wouldn't work. Speaking of which, there are only about this many things in there, this many pebbles. Why here and not all the way up here? Because if I filled this whole tube up and then turned it over, there would be nowhere for this to go. When they originally made it, they took it from a cactus and they would chop the cactus into pieces and um, leave it to dry out in the sun. And I'm not talking about two minutes, five minutes, a couple of days, I'm talking months. They would dry it out in the sun and when it was all dry, they take the thorns off the cactus because cactuses are pointy and they have thorns. They're really not nice to touch. Why would you want to take the thorns out? So A, it's nice and smooth, but also what they do is they take the thorns out and they actually would drive them back inside the cactus. Why would they want to do this? Well, actually that's pretty simple. Um, what they would do is you need to have some kind of resistance for the pebbles and the beads to, to be in there. Otherwise, when I turn it over, it's going to just go from one end of the tube to the other with, with nothing. It's not going to sound like rain. So having those nails actually makes it so it's possible to, to hear all of that, that rain sound. Um, so now we know what it's, what it's made out of. Oh, I should explain also all the nails that are driven into mine are put in helically. What does helically mean? It means in like a twist or a spiral. So if you can imagine right now, this is, is kind of the, the, the shape I'm looking at. They're all the nails that are in there are driven in, in this pattern or this direction down my tube. So that way when it gets turned, it's got resistance and it makes that rain sound. All right, so now you know what it looks like. Now you know where it was made and why it was made. Let's hear what it sounds like. Cool, hey? It really does sound like rain. If I shake it a little bit more, it keeps, it keeps going down. Really cool. Really cool instrument. Probably one of my favorites. All right. So now I'm going to show you how to make your own. This is super simple. You will need a piece of paper, like a paper towel roll. Um, you can get a toilet paper roll or you can get a giant gift wrap roll. I like this size because if it's any smaller, it doesn't have all the beads don't have really far to go if it's any larger you'll see you're gonna have to put things inside of there and it's not easy to do if it's much bigger than this so i would say this is the best size you're going to need um, some elastics you're going to need some pipe cleaners you're going to need beads or rice i like rice i just like the way it sounds but you don't need to um, you'll need some 
tin foil or paper. You can use either. I just, I'm a tin foil person. I just like it. And you will need some markers. You can even get some paint if you would like. And you can paint it up and decorate it. That's up to you. How you decorate it is up to you. If you want to get paint and decorate it, that would work too. So what you're going to do is you're going to start with your uh, paper, or in my case, my tin foil, and you're going to fold it into a small square. So you fold it twice. I'm going to show you how to do that. So you're going to fold it one way, and you're going to fold it the other. It doesn't need to be a perfect square by any means. And it'll look something like this. Then what you're going to do is you're going to take your foil, put it over top of the top there. Kind of squish it, not too hard. You don't want to squish your roll. <laughs> I've done that. And then you're going to take your elastic and twist it around. Maybe more, maybe less, depending on the size of your elastic. So now you got half of it. Um, you can decorate it. If you're going to paint it, paint it before you put this part on. If not, then just don't do that part. All right, so now I've got half of it done. So now what I'm going to do, and there's a couple different ways to do this, um, you could take your pipe cleaner, wrap it around, pull it off, and you'll see it's not a perfect spiral, but what's great is you can just put it in, and it will just sit on the outside, or the inside, and that will be some of the resistance. Now, I find if you just do this and this alone, it doesn't really get the sound of the rain, like what you want it to do. Um, I would suggest, and this is where the pencil or the pen or the marker comes in, you just push it down. And that's one way you could do it. What I find works a lot better is if you get a little spiral, and I'll show you how to make that. Just grab a piece of pipe cleaner and just wrap it so tightly around a marker or a pen or a pencil, it really doesn't matter. And then put those in. And I find that that helps to create more resistance. Now, you can put as many or as little as you want in there. Um, bear in mind, if you use big things like these, it might not go all the way, and that's why I picked rice for today. Um, so I, I think I put enough. So what I would do after that is I would take some rice, and I would fill it maybe to about here not high so don't put very much because once again then it won't work what you're going to do is then you would take another piece of tin foil put it at the top get an elastic and then that would be it and then it will look something like this so when i turn it over i've created my own rain stick oh still going so that's the rain stick and that's how to make your own I hope you enjoyed today's video. Thank you so much for joining me and I'll see you next time. Stay safe. Goodbye.